Uh, it looks like, you know, it's heading in a certain direction right now. I think we all can sense that. Um, yeah. And before we actually call it and have the speeches, we just want to have a little discussion and dialogue. Um, since we have a, a documentarian here from Columbia University, we, we want to just have a, like, a spontaneous um, kind of dialogue about the significance of this election, the historic nature. I mean, I think you guys can all sense where this is going, you know, what it means to have uh, an African American for the first time uh, ever be elected to the President of the United States. So maybe we just like, start a dialogue about this. What's the means for, um, as we can see, the, in the Congress, uh, Democrats seem to be picking up a lot of seats and uh, perhaps even having a, a 60 seat majority and uh, also a majority in the House. So having the Democrats control the presidency, the Senate, and the House, what that means for um, progressive policies in regards to education, like education, the environment, foreign policy, social issues, um, the economy, the taxes. And so maybe just until, I don't think anybody's going to be called until 11, so maybe we just have a little dialogue. So, you know, if this is an event for the results of the let's have a discussion. So I'd like to hear what you guys think about uh, just what, what does this mean for our generation? What does this mean for the future of race relations? Does anyone have any comments? Yeah. Um, yeah. One thing I would say is, I think it's amazing that 50 years uh, after a black man couldn't get a job, it looks like they're going to have the presidency. And whether you agree with Obama or not, whether you think he's going to be a good president, I just hope that the African American community really, you know, psychologically looks at this and realizes that they're not stuck anymore. And this, you know, a lot of, you know, I love Dave Chappelle and I love Chris Rock, but as role models, I feel like they're not the best people. And funny though they may be, I feel like this is a real excellent opportunity for the African American community as a whole to sort of step up and see what they can do. How you feel about perhaps the role of African Americans, other immigrants, do you, in terms of perhaps influencing this election, the outcome, what seems to be like a real clear direction.
Obviously, it does depend on how Obama does the president if he's elected. But there's breaking the glass ceiling. Oh, most Thank you. 